How's it going? David from Comic Book Investments. So in this video, we're going to go through some stuff I got back from CGC. I get this stuff in every single week. Head over to collectorscomics.com if you want to purchase any of these or just look at them and look some more at other things. But it's been a crazy week. I mean, uh, we have our auction ramping up. Uh, the consignment deadline is pretty much almost getting near. So the books have to be in, if you're sending something, have to be in by the 7th of July. So if you live far away, they might not get here in time. But yeah, we've been getting a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of stuff. It's crazy to think, like I think our first auction was like 600 or something. And now it's going to be over 2,500. I mean, it just keeps on getting bigger and bigger each one. So thank you for everyone that submitted. Tons and tons of stuff to go through. So yeah. All right, let's get right into it. Now this one I'm a little upset about. I'm not upset about the grade. I think what I let's see what I thought it was. Um, thought it'd be an A, no got an A. Um, but I thought that the Reverse Flash was going to be in the movie, but he was not. And um, judging by how low the ticket sales are, no one's really seen the movie. <laughs> Burn. Um, but yes, so I thought the refler. I mean, he kind of was in essence, but. You know, the DCEU, it's like Doomsday, Flashpoint. They just do not know how to handle a storyline properly. They just kind of mash elements of it in. It just doesn't work. Whatever. Nonetheless, first appearance reverse flash on this book right here. Got an 8 0. It's pretty high for this book. Uh, $27.99. Now, this book. I don't know what happened. For some reason, I thought this was 9.6. I don't know. Maybe it was written down wrong. Who knows? But anyways, it came back in 8.5. Is it an 8.5? No, I think it's pretty a little bit nicer than that. I think it could be like a 9.0. But nonetheless, uh, 4.59. <laughs> this book, 7.0. You might be thinking, Dave, why are you sending a 7.0 first gambit? Well... Some things just don't work out as well as you hoped. Um, and sometimes this can be a lesson learned for you younger people out there. Sometimes you go to press a book and sometimes you mess up. And then in those sometimes when you mess up, it ends up damaging the book and it goes all the way down from what you thought would be a 9.6 down to a 7.0. <laughs> so yes, this one got... This was user error over here on my part. Um, so yeah, just let that, for those of you who don't know too much about pressing, some things can go wrong from time to time. Now it's not an everyday case and I'm glad it was on this book and not something better, but it is what it is. It happens and it just so happened. I remember, I remember my brother one time was pressing a book. It was an X-Men 2 and putting the book in and the corner of the book just kind of you know when you're putting it in just kind of like flapped over a little bit he pressed it down and pressed a nice big old corner crease like I don't know like this big into the book uh it just happens I mean use it this from time to time some things happen so I mean uh yeah so nothing you can do about it except just take the loss on the chin. And that's what I'm going to do on this book. So, yeah. Thankfully, it uh, wasn't something better. You know, I mean, it probably is now like a $50 book, $75 book. Um, could have been worth a couple hundred. So it is what it is. All right. Can you imagine if you did that in like an action one? Ooh, ooh. I've, you know, this, this uh, bad things happen sometimes. Uh, hmm, funny story. My dad was telling me about this time he's with um, either Stephen Fis uh, Fischler or Vincent from Comic Connect. But at the time, they were called Metropolis Comics. So this is before Comic Connect ever existed. There's Metropolis Comics. Uh, so this is like 90s, early 2000s or something. And he was telling me a story. So they were both looking at this collection 
I don't know where they were, why they were both at the same spot. I have no idea. Both looking at this collection, and this guy was holding, um, it was either a New York's World Fair or World's Best One, which was technically World's Finest number one. World's Finest started with number two, but World's Best then Comics, then it went to World's Finest Comics after that. Um, or as New York's World's Fair, if you know, they're like the thicker books. And they're looking at the book. My dad looks at it. And he's like, oh my gosh, this book's like a, like the highest grade he's ever seen. Like he was saying probably in the nines, easily in the nines. And then Vincent or Stephen Fischler, one of those, I have no idea. He's telling me the story and I'm probably even remembering it wrong, um, who the people actually were, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, people from Metropolis. And they dropped the book and just bam. You know, obviously it was before CGC or maybe CGC was like brand new at that point and just put a big old dent crease corner in it. And it's like, you know, that goes from the, maybe the highest grade ever down to not so much anymore. And it just happens. So I remember uh, this things like that happen. You know, you never really know. Um, I'm trying to think. Um, the worst is when you get those really, really like brittle comic books that are really, really old and really, really brittle. And, um, I remember in my younger days, I used to take the comic out of the bag and board and then I would just slide it in. And, you know, multiple times, you know, you're paying attention to the front, not really paying attention to the back and just, just takes off a corner, takes off a chunk because they're so brittle and that happens. Um, so now what I, I've done this for a while, but now what I do is most of the time I'll take a, when I take it out, I take the comic and the backer board out and then when I put it in I put it I put the comic back on the backer board and put that into the bag that way I don't have to worry about the back because as long as the comics on the backer board it's safe so yeah little tips and tricks you learn up here and there but nonetheless what is this book X-Men 14 fun stuff um thought V5-0 got a 4-5 379 Number 16, Third Sentinels, Mr. Mold. Or was it not Mr. Mold, Ma Master, Master Mold or something like that? Master Mold. Um, that would be 9 got an 8 5 six, nine, 6 49 This one, that would be 6 5 got a 5 5 five twenty nine. Got a 5 5 because like the back cover is fine. It's just the front cover. It looks really nice. Like I would say it's probably like an 8-0, but it's been like sun damaged. And so just, you know, didn't get the grade I was hoping. Got this Ghost Rider number four. I got a bunch of Ghost Riders, so I don't know which is which. Um, that'd be 9-2, got a 9-6. So that's good. That's very good. 4.99. Got this third appearance, I guess, of Wolverine. Wait, is it, what's that say? First appearance and death of Crackajack. I don't know which one is Crackajack of these two, but he first appeared and he died. One appearance. Imagine that. You finally get your big break. You're going to be in a comic book, and then you die. Not very good. He needs a new agent. Um, that would be a 6.5 to 7.0. Got a 7.5 to 29. Here you go. Fantastic cover. Love this cover. That'd be cool if I could own the art one day. I wonder if the art actually exists. I don't know. Um, hmm. I do not know because I didn't put it on this list. Like I said, I make this list thinking that I have certain books. I have a bunch more. So I probably pulled this book because I thought it was cool, but I didn't put it on the list. So you're just going to have to go to my website if you want to check out all the details about it. Uh, Journey Mystery, 112. And that website is collectorscomics.com. Uh, came back to great. I was hoping for 289. Action 89, rainbow cover. 
Uh, 8.99. Here we go. First kid flash. Is it what? Wally West? Yeah, right. Is that what? Yep. Wally West. I don't know if they had it. Wait a minute. Ah, uh, it's the first weather wizard. I didn't know that. Interesting. I'm sure I did, but don't remember now. So it's news as of today. Uh, 12.99. Spence Comics 12. I have no idea. Not on the list. But it's cool. Easy way. This easy way teaches piano without music. Hmm. Interesting. Should send away for that. Uh, origin of Wonder Woman. This might be one of the original origins. Not the first, but an old one. Uh, six ninety nine for a five five. I just sold this book in a four five, I think. I think. Anyways, some old Batman number seventy one. I thought it'd be five five six zero. I got a five zero six ninety nine. Batman ninety nine. I think at one point I had the highest grade of this. Uh, that'll be five. I got a four, five, six, ninety nine as well. An old Joker appearance. What number is this? One forty eight. Uh, Two forty nine. Then we got the first Silver Age Scarecrow, Batman one eighty nine. That'll be three. I got a five. Oh, hmm, three ninety nine. All right, I think I just graded that one a little too tough and they graded a little too loose. And then we got the Beatles hanging out. I don't know which grade is this. 6 0. That'd be 5 5 2 79. Um, that is it. Uh, once again, head over to collectorscomics.com and yeah, auction is going to start here pretty soon. Um, so, pretty excited. Have a good day.